Hello everyone. First off, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I make videos on programming as well as other kind of technical stuff like Arduino. This is the second video of a series where I go through the front and back end process of a chat application which was built using React Native and PHP. In this video, we will take a look at the chat homepage and the chat profile of the application and their process. Alright, now that we are back again in the VS Code, go ahead and open the project again. In this project, we will look through chat home and chat profile. First, let's take a look at the chat home page. If we go to the top, here we have the list of the JSX and the libraries I have used in chat home. Most importantly, I have used Victor icons and async storage in chat home. Then we have the main function which renders the main UI of the chat application. If you take a look at here, inside this area we have the components of the main UI. In here, as you can see, I have used a flat list. This flat list renders all the users in the main UI. As for the data of the flat list, it uses items. This item is called from this hook use state, and the set item is called in this chat item request using set items function. As rendering item, it uses items component. This is the web of single item. I have passed the item object to this function so I can use run item merely in the item component. And then we come to the navigation part. Once a user touch an item component, he or she will be directed to the corresponding chat profile it is handled here using this function from the server side we use load chat to load chat from the server side to the client side in the chat home here we request the data from the database using this connection and the response array is encoded as a json file and is sent back to the client side Now let's look at the chat profile page. In the top, we can see the libraries and the JSX components like other pages. And here is the main function which renders the main UI. In here, we have passed the route and navigation object into the function. This object are passed the chat profile from the chat home. If we go back to the chat home, let's go to the navigation part here. This is the navigation part where we navigate from chat home to chat profile. In here, this root object 2 is pa passed to the chat profile as the root object and we catch this root object 2 from the chat profile as root object and the navigation object is passed from the navigation stack we will take a look at the navigation stack in a later video as for the use effect load user profile is called from use effect if we take a look at the load user profile here's the function we set these parameters to the to user profile there's an, another use effect calling called load messages this is called repeatedly for every one second as a set interval here's the load message history this is the main function we call the messages with the user notion from chat home and the response from the load chat history from the server side is set to the chats and is loaded in the main UI. Chat item UI is the message component of this UI and this is the render item UI of the flat list of the messages and here this is the function we send the message from our side to the other user. As for the chat profile, we use load chat history in the message process. APIs for the server side. We take a look at the log chat history. This page requests the data from the database. This, way, this page requests the message history from the database between the user and the other user. In here, as you can see, first we have established the connection, and below the connection, there are two queries. One is to update the status whether the message is seen or not, and the other one is to select the messages between the from user and the to user. And the return data from the database is stored in table. The return table from the database is then fetched using a for and then pushed into an array and again this array will be response to the client side and if you take a look at the message process this here insert the messages we send to the other side and for the details we send the message our id and the user id we send message to are sent from the client side and is used to store the data in the database and this here concludes the coding side of chat home and chat profile now let's take a look at the walkthrough.
the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything I'm a